If you're like most guys out there, then chances are you have at least heard of, if you're not already using, something like a two-in-one shampoo for your hair. And if you're like most guys, then you've probably gotten a lot of backlash from your wife, your girlfriend, someone out there for using those things. I mean, there are tons of memes out there on the internet about guys who use some shampoos that are both shampoo, conditioner, motor oil, shaving cream all in one. Well, today we're actually gonna give a bit of credence to those claims by describing why two-in-one shampoos usually aren't a good thing or that effective. We talk about what shampoos are supposed to do, which is pretty obvious, but we're also gonna talk about what conditioners are supposed to do, why they shouldn't be mixed, and some better alternatives so you guys can maximize the health and potential of your hair. So let's talk about shampoos a little bit first. It's important to understand the depth of what shampoos and conditioners are supposed to do so it's easier to explain why they aren't that effective when you combine them. Shampoos are meant to clean your hair, obviously. But clean your hair from what? Like what makes your hair dirty in the first place? The answer is the natural oils that your skin produces. Your hair will naturally get dirty over time because the amount of oils that is built up and absorbed in by your hair from the glands on your skin that produce sebum, which is the natural oil that helps hydrate your hair and keep it healthy and elastic, that oil will build up over time causing your hair to feel sticky, dense, a bit heavy and laid down, as well as attract other things like dirt, debris, dust, all that kind of stuff. If you've ever just not showered for a few days or maybe when you've gone camping and done a lot of activity where you sweat a lot or anything like that, you will notice your hair starts to get a bit matted, a little bit heavy feeling and a bit greasy feeling. So shampoos are mainly designed to strip away the oils from your hair, which gets rid of a lot of that excess moisture that causes other things like dust and dirt and stuff to stick to it. And because you are getting rid of the dirty oils and the dirt and debris and stuff that has clogged your hair up, you can then replace those oils with natural ones that you would find in something like conditioner. That way your hair doesn't get too dried out, but you are just essentially swapping out the dirty oil with the cleaner oil, just like an oil change in your car. So why aren't two-in-ones that effective? The answer is it's hard to strip away the oils and replace the oils at the same time. It just doesn't make any sense that way. What you're essentially doing when you use a two-in-one shampoo conditioner is you're not fully eliminating the excess oils, the dirty oil that you have in your hair before you reintroduce new ones. So you're essentially blending the old dirty oil with the new oils, which is why two-in-ones aren't really that effective or good for the health of your hair. It's like draining half of the dirty oil out of your car and filling that extra half back up with new oil. You're just gonna get a mixture of half and half dirty and new. But ultimately it means that without flushing out completely the dirty oils with something like a shampoo that is supposed to get rid of those things, then you're just going to end up mixing the oils together and you're not gonna get as good of a result and as clean and healthy hair as you may otherwise want. So in this case, it really just benefits you and the health of your hair if you do it the old fashioned way. If you just start with shampoo, you finish the shampoo and rinse it out, which rinses out all of the old oils before applying the new ones, the conditioner. Or if you don't wanna use a conditioner and you want something that's all natural, then we would actually recommend using Volt's beard oil. That's because beard oil is not only safe for hair, obviously because it's meant to go on your beard, but it is made of 100% all natural oils. So you're not having to mix in any of the chemicals that conditioner usually often includes, which also includes things like preservatives. So ultimately that is why two-in-ones aren't that effective and why we recommend you using a dedicated shampoo first before a conditioner or even potentially swapping out the conditioner entirely for something like natural hair oil, which you can find in Volt's beard oil. Just a few drops of that stuff, depending on how much hair you have, how long it is and anything like that will go a long way. Not to mention beard oil also adds a bit of a sheen to your hair and it won't leave you with hair feeling sticky or tacky or anything like that. You'll start to feel your hair soften up as well because after all, beard oil is meant to hydrate and condition beard hair which tends to be stiffer and even more 
more uncomfortable than the hair on your scalp. So when you use a bit of it on your scalp, you'll notice right away that your hair tends to feel softer and more shiny. We also have Volt's dedicated shampoo, which is a gentle shampoo. It's not filled with sulfates, it's filled with sulfonates, which are a natural derivative actually of coconuts that helps the shampoo foam up and do some good cleaning. This just helps you clean your hair more gently without leaving your hair feeling really dry, almost too dry, before you add something like the conditioner or the beard oil or hair oil. And our shampoo bottles are made from refillable aluminum instead of plastic, so you never have to throw it away. And you can just get one of Volt's aluminum refill packs, which contains a huge amount of the product for a discounted cost, and you can just refill your own bottles that way. So you're not having to throw away like the equivalent of seven plastic bottles just to have a lot of supply of shampoo. So if you guys like this video, hopefully you learned a little something about why two-in-ones really aren't the best idea for the health of your hair. Hopefully you found some products maybe that work for you that you wanna give a try in the future. If you guys did like the video, please hit like and subscribe. We got tons more videos with tidbits of information like this coming out. And if you have any questions for us that you would like to see in future videos or that we can answer for you right here, just leave those in the comment section. Ultimately, we wanna thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.